Can we talk about the future of open IPC? Do you think it'll get to the point that the O4 is right now? Do you think companies like DJI, Waxel, or HD0 will become open source? No, no, I don't. I don't think it will get to the point that O4 is at right now, uh, because the O because DJI is just stupidly good at what they do, and I've been watching people chase their tail for years and not not get there. Uh, so DJI just has hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe more, in engineering. They are just so good at what they do. They're stupid good at what they do. And there is no one who compares to them when it comes to making drones and video links pretty much anywhere in the world. That's just, like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, like, blow smoke, uh, uh, you know, but I am also just have to be realistic. And that's the, that's the tempered realistic take, Okay. Right? That's a fact. So, um, so like, Walksnail has engineering money and a financial motivation and has had years. Look how good Walksnail is compared to even the DJI 03, never mind the 04. Walksnail is the closest competitor. OpenIPC is a free, open source... Right? How is that going to even get on the level? So what you're hoping will happen is that a company like RunCam will decide to invest in OpenIPC and use OpenIPC as a basis to then make a better system. Maybe. It's possible. But it's hard to imagine it being as good as like the O4 is now. Because it's hard to imagine anything being as good as the O4 is now. But then you also say, okay, now it's this open source thing and, you know, it's not going to maybe get the focused development. Like, but, and people say, but ExpressLRS is great. ExpressLRS is amazing. It's way easier to make – I'm not, not to take anything away from the ExpressLRS devs, but a lot of the – reasons why ExpressLRS is good goes back to that Semtech chip and the LoRa technology that then ExpressLRS built on top of. That chip is ex an exceptional radio mo module. Th th there isn't something like that for video, in part because video is... Like, that chip is designed to send a small amount of data over a very large distance, and it turns out that's exactly what a control link wants to do. FPV video wants to send a huge amount of data over a very long distance with extraordinarily low latency, and that is... Oh, and also, the box needs to be this big, and it can't draw more than 10 watts or 20 watts. There just isn't a... Comp there isn't anything that already does that, and so you have to invent it from scratch, and it's very hard. Um... Will companies like DJI, Walksnail, or HD0 become open source? Um, not DJI, as if they'd give away any of their secrets. No, I don't think Walksnail has indicated they want to do that. HD0, they have their proprietary thing. Um, I don't, I don't see it. So Just to be clear, Walksnail can't because Walksnail is not using their own technology. They're using Artisan's technology, a Chinese company. The uh, the SOC, right? The system on a chip. Yeah. The ASIC yeah. or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So I think what you're hoping will happen is that a company like Emacs or RunCam will start investing heavily in OpenIPC and will drive OpenIPC to a point where it sort of reaches this open source critical mass and then starts just snowballing and getting better and better and better. And... It's I, I, I that doesn't seem likely. It doesn't feel likely to me. I think Open IPC will get a lot better. It will, once it gets some investment and gets commoditized a little. I think it has room to get a lot better. The hardware is holding Open IPC back right now. If someone were to take something like the, like the Artisan SOC that Walksnail uses, I don't know if you could literally do that, and and use something like that to run an open IPC system, it would get way better. But is it going to get as good as the 04? That's hard to imagine. 